Well, this one has been a long time in the making, but it is finally ready. You know, sometimes when you start to R&D a new project, come up with a new concept, the things that uh, are supposed to be the easiest turn out to be the hardest, and the things you were really worried about turn out to be not that big of an obstacle. And that was the case with this one, but it's finally done, and we're ready to show it. This is a wizard's chest. We made it for a Harry Potter theme. It uh, has popular with an ebony finish and distress to kind of give it that medieval look. The back panel on this one is pretty uh, pretty simple. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, pretty simple. It's got your power button and a rotary knob for your volume. Right now it's about 75%. This is a, uh, a two-part puzzle. The first part involves these four puzzle pieces here. These can be prizes that the players received from other games that they played in the room, or you can have them just laying out or randomly spaced throughout the room. The first thing you need to do is you need to put these four pieces in the corresponding sockets. There's four sockets on the uh, top of the chest and this as you can tell is probably the uh, this is the four elements. Stereotypical four elements. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the wind. We'll put that here in the white. And this little audio. Then you have uh, rain, water droplet. Earth and the green. And fire. Once all those are inserted, the chest comes alive. And what you need to do is you need to put in the right combination by touching the circles um, to the corresponding numbers. If you touch the wrong number, you'll get an error and a reset. Resets the puzzle. Correct answer. Circle will go green. And as long as you continue to get the correct answer, you'll continue to get greens. At any point in the uh, sequence, if you hit the wrong answer, It'll reset itself. The correct key for this one is there you go. And there you go. Unlocks it. As you can see, there's a mag lock there. Of course, this was locked the whole time. And as you notice, there's no reset key. There's uh, very minimal uh, things going on in the back. To reset this one, it's very simple. You just remove the four pieces. And it's locked again. Uh, one thing to note, too, is um, we have real-time... Um, audio mixing so you could put these on as fast as you want Let me see if I can do it and record and the audio will play all the tracks it will not cut out the tracks very nice organic feel to it same thing with the uh, the puzzle um, you can go as fast as you want and you'll still it'll still complete every sequence for every input that you do. Which is really so that's it. If you have any questions, let us know. And we'll see you next time.